What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today we are looking at a book based off another property. It's not a movie, it's not a TV show, it's not another comic. What is it? We are looking at the video game universe adaptation, whatever you want to call it, of Cyberpunk 2077. All right, so first things first, thank you Dark Horse for hooking me up with a copy of this. Uh, to start things off, I have not actually played the full Cyberpunk game. I've seen a few parts of it played, like on Twitch and other things, seen friends playing it. I have not personally played it. I know a little bit about the story, I know a little bit about the world, but I was very curious, because I love the Cyberpunk uh, genre and I have been really wanting to play the game. It's just really long and I don't necessarily have the time to always sit down and play games, uh, though I have started playing a little bit more in recent. So maybe I'm gonna have to pick up Cyberpunk 2077 because uh, after reading this, I am way more interested in that world. Let's find out why. So this is Cyberpunk 2077, the Library Edition Volume 1, coming to us from Dark Horse Comics. It is definitely that oversized Library Edition, so it is larger in scale and format than the typical oversized hardcover or omnibus. It is a little bit bigger in all ways, uh, maybe not as thick. This does collect three different stories within the Cyberpunk 2077 universe. We have Trauma Team by Colin Bunn, and you have two stories, You Have My Word, and Blackout by, I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher this name, by Bartos Stizdabar. Sorry if I've butchered that name. So story one is Trauma Team. You follow what is called a trauma team, and they are basically paramedics, EMTs that are on the scene, on the ground, when a platinum level, super high paying client is injured or in need of evac for any type of medical or other situation, they send these EMTs in where they will not only just take care of you medically, but they will definitely keep you alive in many other ways, whether it's in a gunfight or getting out of a building. This follows the character of Nadia, who is a somewhat green EMT in this world. Uh, she is on a mission and things go wrong and many of her teammates are lost. So she's being interviewed and cleared again to go back out into active duty. Uh, once she is back out in active duty, you see a lot of back and forth from talking with the therapist or person clearing her for active duty and her newest, latest mission and everything going wrong in that. I'm not going to give away any of the twists and turns, but suffice to say, it's a very interesting story. It kind of reminded me of the latest Dread movie where they're trying to get out of a building and they are having some trouble with that but also has a lot of that futuristic tone and great art to go along with it. I absolutely love the colors, the line work, the panel work, all brilliant, all super well done. I loved the way the story was laid out between jumping back and forth and having it narrated through this therapy session. The second story in this library edition is You Have My Word. And this follows a young lady who's caught up in the underworld and dealing with all kinds of dark characters who are involved in crime and all of that stuff. And then you jump to this wonderful older lady who is taking care of a small diner and is being treated like absolute garbage. And you quickly find out, hey, you know, she's this gr grandmother taking care of her granddaughter and she's worried about her daughter as she takes care of her daughter's daughter. Um, and then things go wrong and you find out, hey, she's a sweet old lady, but uh, she's not that sweet underneath. And you really find out why. This is very much a Vendetta, John Wick style story where, you know, they hit that retirement and then all of a sudden, well, maybe they are not all that we expected them to be. And they go out on a crazy Vendetta fueled rampage and people die. Things get crazy and there is a lot of gunfire. This story was super cool uh, and had absolute gorgeous art. Very dark, very gritty, uh, very much in the underworld of the story of Cyberpunk 2077. 
The third and final issue in this library edition is called Blackout, and this follows a very nerdy and very unassuming character who is so tired of his life, and basically what he does is he peddles what he calls, you know, drugs, basically. He's a drug dealer where he helps people escape into VR where they don't have to experience real life. They can experience greatness in VR and get that escape. Meanwhile, he is the... Uh, technician who keeps it all running and goes on site if something goes wrong. So he deals with people and their addictions all day and is just so tired of it and wants out so badly but absolutely cannot get out. So he is just so tired of this situation and his life. He wants out in any way possible, be it death or just finding a new job. But he is definitely caught up in a world that he cannot get out of due to debt but he has a good heart and wants to help people. He helps people along the way and slowly builds this team of people until he realizes how he can get himself out of this situation and pay off his debts. It is a very fun, very cool, high octane adventure that deals with a lot of heart and a lot of heartache and I really enjoyed it. The art wasn't my favorite of the three, but it was still really good. I really loved the colors and the action sequences, especially with the car chases, were very fun, very well done. There was great plot twists along the way too. When you thought something was gonna happen, all of a sudden the rug was pulled out from under you. Really fun series, really fun story. Lastly, this library edition contains a cover gallery and sketchbook that has a great amount of cover art in here that's gorgeous and then goes into all the character sketches and layouts and inks and pencils behind the panels. And then it has some really great notes at the bottom of the page talking about how the pages were put together and the layouts were done and all of that. Really fun stuff, really great book, really quality build. From soup to nuts, this book is awesome. All right, so that was a quick overview look at Cyberpunk 2077. Like I said, the art is friggin' gorgeous. Uh, the stories were really cool, just like little vignette pieces, uh, little looks into the world and into the uh, lives of just normal, everyday people in this world. Well, I guess some of them aren't really necessarily normal, everyday people, but just kind of the people on the peripheries, the uh, non, <laughs> non uh, the people that don't have a lot of money that are just trying to survive and struggle in this world. Really cool concept, uh, really well done. I mean, the whole cyberpunk, futuristic, uh, dystopia type future has been done a lot, but I really enjoyed uh, how this took a look at that whole world, that whole universe and genre, because it wasn't just like following a main character through the entire library edition. It was three separate stories, and you really got a feel for the entire universe uh, holistically versus just this following one long story of a character doing crazy cool things. Uh, these were characters doing crazy cool things, but they were doing crazy cool things kind of within their own uh, their own section, their own uh, bubble of this universe and this world that is Cyberpunk 2077. So I really enjoyed that, that it wasn't this huge extravagant world changing thing, but that they changed their world within this world. So uh, if you like Cyberpunk 2077 the game, I would say that this is definitely a pickup. You cannot miss this book because uh, as someone who hasn't uh, played the game and really known much about it, now I am drawn into that world so much more <laughs> and I really want to go and play the game now. So if it's doing that for me, I cannot imagine how much more it would amplify uh, that for people who do actually love the game and have played the game before. Uh, so definitely don't miss it, don't sleep on it. The book itself, the binding, the presentation is all gorgeous. That classic dark horse uh, premium quality that you're gonna get. So definitely don't wanna miss out on that. But uh, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Do all those things, but the most important thing to do, like I say in every video, is comment. Let me know in the comments what your absolute favorite uh, video game to comic book series is right now. Or it doesn't even have to be a video game, it just could be a different IP. So it could be, you know, 
uh, show, Stranger Things coming to comics, or it could be, uh, you know, M Mario going from the game to the movies or something like that, that, that uh, entertainment genre jump. What's your absolute favorite jump that you've seen? Could be from comics to something else or from something else to comics. Let me know in the comments. I really want to find out. I love when they can jump genre as well. So let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.